Okay, so we start. We were talking about adversarial search and the course is from and the course is CS 188 at UC Berkeley. I mean the slides are from that course, uh, we were already talking about a lot of these things. So let us start from here. So this is max <coughs> so this is max this is min Even though max can have a potential value 14 here, the fact that min is there in between right, is not going to allow for that 14 because our min is adversarial perfect optimal is not going to make mistakes. Let us say if min makes mistake right, it might still reach there, it might. But it is not going to make mistakes, 14 is out of question. So, in this case min is going to give 3 up here, 2 up here, 2 up here and then finally max is going to choose the max of its successors. Is this setup clear? I mean very basic, very simple setup right, there is nothing in this. What was special here in this slide? If you have a perfect player then what will max get here? If your min that is adversary is perfect, optimal, in that case what will max get here? Not 100, right? So, what min is going to give me here? 9 and 10, max has no choice but for 10. So, right, but what is the possibility if you do not have the perfect player? Then there is a non zero chance that you can get 100. Okay. So, we had seen this part optimal player. And then we had also seen that there is suboptimal player. Ye kya tha? That Pac Man thing, right? So let us repeat no harm. So we will fast forward. Ghost. To stop the loss of points before the inevitable failure. 
So it's really, really grim. And in fact, Pac-Man does... What happened in this case? It goes to what you think. Adversary was optimal. So this particular Pac-Man stands no chance. Now in this case... What if those aren't average? Free I show. Where in the worst case, we should just save that one point by dive bombing the ghost. But half the time, we're going to do better. And so let's see what Pac-Man does in the average case. Well, we lucked out. In this case, there was a chance that the adversary will make mistakes and Pac-Man stands some chance. Okay. So, minimax efficiency. How efficient is minimax? What is minimax first of all? What is minimax? So, मतलब minimax के किस algorithm की बात कर रहे हैं अपन? Which algorithm is minimax? कौन सा algorithm की बात हो रही है यहाँ पे? मतलब Yes. How many players? Two. So min and max. And how does the algorithm work? You start from the top node and then max plays. Then who will play? Min play and so on. How are they grabbing those values? So here important is your terminal values. You have to propagate them up somehow. How do you assign those values? Remember those two algorithms we were talking about side by side, kuch nahi tha unme. what was it? Apne successors ko dekho and if you are a max, you will choose the max and if you are a min, you will choose minimum of all of them. Okay, And you keep on doing this recursively. So that was mini max algorithm. How is it same as DFS? Go to that tree. How is minimax same as DFS? You start from here, explore everything, come back, explore everything, come back, explore everything. This is how you are going to assign 3 here. Can you bypass any of it? Can you bypass any of it? Matlab, can you prune this tree so that I do not have to search exhaustively in the whole tree? Right? If you know, right? Okay, we'll come to that. So, how efficient is minimax? Just like DFS. So right now we are just here at this point. It is exhaustive like DFS. I have got no chance of bypassing anything. Why is time complexity order B M? Again, so what is B? What is M? M is my levels and B is my branching factor. Okay. So space is B M. Why? This was DFS, right? You do not have to store the whole thing. All right. Now, for example, for chess, so for chess, B is roughly 35, M is 100. This is a huge tree. Exact solution is completely infeasible, but do we need to explore the whole tree? So, they say that for chess empirically it has been found that B is roughly 35 on an average. M is 100. Okay? 
exact solution is completely infeasible because that will be 35 to the power 100 the total number of states that is a gone case exact solution is completely infeasible but do we need to explore the whole tree so game tree pruning right we know how to propagate in this it was 3 2 2 that goes up okay So, tell me what is happening in this case. Huh? Right. So, maybe draw this tree first. Draw this tree in your notebooks because. Yes. Done? Yes. Is me kaise propagate karoge? 3, 2, 2 and then 3. Okay? Ye sab ko karna tha na? At least you will have some question jisko midterm me kar paoge. As simple as this. What I will ask will not be as simple as this. But ye kar paare ho to most likely wo bhi kar paoge. Okay? Next. So, this is what Minimax will do. Go everywhere. Try to figure out what are these values. These are rectangle shape because terminal utilities. This is min. This is max. How does min choose? Min of its successors, max of its successors. Fine. Next. Tell me why is this sufficient? यहाँ पे क्या क्या था भाई? लिख लेते हैं एक बार. Four six, four and six. Why I don't need to go there? दस सेकंड सोचो एक बार. सोच लो भाई दो मिनट. Yes. Okay, what comes from the first three has come from here. You come here, you go there, you see two here. What does max know? No matter what comes here, max is min is not going to give me better than two, right? What is known to whom? You are min or you are max? See, right now we are doing it from the perspective of max. Max says I can get 3 from here. Okay? It comes 2 from here. Does it matter if this were 1 and 0? No, so it won't be 0. Let's say 0.5. From the perspective of max. Let us say even if this was 0 0.5, what will max take? 3. The moment max sees a 2 here which is lesser than 3, do I need to see what is here? Think over it, it does not come automatically. It does not come automatically. Dekho, from the perspective of max again, not from the perspective of min. 
फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ मेन यू विल है एग्जैक्ट रिवर्स ऑफ इट जहां पे मैक्स खेल रहा होगा राइट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ मैक्स द बेस्ट आई कैन ऑप्टेन ऑन दिस ब्रांच इज थ्री आई कम हियर आई सी देर इज ए टू सो सो देन आई हैव टू डिलीट दिस सो लेट से इफ दिस इज टेन आई हैव टेन फोर सिक्स वॉट कैन आई डू आई हैव टू गो एंड लुक एट टेन टेन इज बेटर देन थ्री सो आई मस्ट एक्सप्लोर फर्दर आई शुड गो टू फोर फोर इज बेटर देन थ्री आई कॉन्ट एक्सक्लूड एनी थिंग इन दैट केस राइट नाउ लेट से टेन कम्स हियर वॉट विल हैव टू फर्दर डू फोर्टीन कैन आई प्रूव नॉट राइट नाउ आई गो टू फाइव कैन आई प्रूव नाउ येस बिकॉज दिस मीन इज नॉट गोइंग टू गिव मी बेटर देन फाइव I already have something that is better than फाइव I redo everything. एक ही फोर सिक्स याद रखना बक्स सो दिस इज फोर दिस इज सिक्स डू इट ऑन योर ओन एग्जाम में नहीं कर पाओगे सेम क्वेश्चन भी पूछ लूंगा तो राइट right? एक बार अपने से करो वाई कैन मैक्स प्रून फोर एंड सिक्स ईयर Why it doesn't need to go there? You have no choice. Not got this. इस पे तो क्वेश्चन आ रहा है मिट्टम में कब है भाई देवी मिट्टम पांच अक्टूबर हाँ वॉट मैक्स नो इज यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ परफेक्ट एडवर्सरी सो दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू गिव यू समथिंग बेटर देन टू आपको लग रहा है यहां पे फोर एंड सिक्स है लेट से यहां पे फोर एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड भी है वॉट विल स्टिल मीन गिव यू टू दैक्ट दैट यू हैव सिक्स हंड्रेड हियर डज नॉट मीन मीन इज गोइंग टू लेट यू गो देर दिस इज फोर और सिक्स और सिक्स हंड्रेड और जीरो पॉइंट वन फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ मैक्स इट डज नॉट मैटर बिकॉज मैक्स इज गोइंग टू गो दैट पाथ Max will not come to this path at all because I already have a better path. Make sense? Okay. More questions here. Do I need to look at these guys? यहां पे थ्री यस सो टेल मी व्हाट विल यू डू इफ दिस वर थ्री हियर मीन इज स्टिल नॉट गोइंग टू गिव यू बेटर देन थ्री ओके सो इन दैट केस सेम थिंग फॉर यू एग्जैक्टली अगेन सो नो नीड टू एक्सप्लोर फर्दर नाउ Give me the worst case for this. Just me. You will have to explore everything anyway. If I have things in increasing order, I've got no choice but I will have to keep looking at everything. Okay. And what is the best case? Even in the best case, tell me what I should still do. चलो आगे चलते हैं धीरे धीरे आएगा सब कुछ
so now in this they are talking about the mean version we are computing the mean value at some node n we are looping over n's children n's estimate of children's mean is dropping who cares about n's value max band kar diya na matlab i am okay टेम्परेचर चेंज कर देते अब दो मिनट में गर्म हो जाएगा ये सो लेट ए बी दी बेस्ट वॉट एवर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट इज रिटर्न हियर फॉर्मली ओके सो दिस इज दिस इज कॉल्ड अल्फा बीटा प्रूनिंग राइट इफ एन बिकम वॉट एवर आर्गुमेंट वी हैव मेड एग्जैक्टली दे आर हियर फॉर्मली दैट सेट but okay let's do it from we, we have done it from the perspective of one guy how will you do it from the other next wale mein dusre wale mein kya hoga if you had min before and then max later What will happen is written here. No, by the way, hmm. guys, one more I'll say. Don't look at this. Look at this once you go home. This is the best thing to look at. Ab question puchu. so you are max uh, we are min abhi apan sense ke perspective if you are min i'll have to flip these guys i don't want to do that right now right ha huh. so you do it in your notebooks only but i just want to i'm just looking for that one thing jo min ke perspective se hogi wo kya hai you'll be looking for upper bounds rather than lower bounds right जैसे इस केस में आपको टू ने स्टॉप किया उस केस में आपको समथिंग हायर विल स्टॉप दैट दैट इफ यू आर गेटिंग हायर देन व्हाट यू हैड डन बिफोर देन यू वोट टेक दिस पाथ एनी वे सो यू विल हैव टू चूज दैट पाथ सो एग्जैक्ट रिवर्स हो जाएगा यहां पे जो थ्री टू हुआ वहां पे वो टू थ्री हो जाएगा ओके okay? चलो सो अल्फा बीटा इंप्लीमेंटेशन दैट सेम थिंग वी हैड ऑल दीज थिंग्स बिफोर बट अब ये भी आ गया है ओके राइट दिस प्रोनिंग हैज नो इफेक्ट ऑन मिनिमैक्स वैल्यू कंप्यूटेड फॉर द रूट द वैल्यूज ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट नोड्स माइट बी wrong important children of the root may have the wrong value so the most naive version won't let you action selection good child ordering improves effectiveness of pruning with perfect ordering time complexity drops to this doubles the solvable depth full search for example in chess is still hopeless this is a simple example of computing about what to compute so we'll we'll stay at this particular slide for some time this pruning has no effect on this what does it mean what does the first bullet moon mean they hope all my questions refer to that one figure okay top value kya ja rahi thi Three, and that three will still remain the same. So does it? So all this says is this pruning has no effect where computed for the root. Root pe three tha. Ye karne ke baad mein bhi root pe three rahega. What happens here? Values of intermediate nodes might be wrong, of course. 
in which case what was wrong in our, our example you kind of assign 2 to min whereas it could have been by if there was a 1 here actual value will propagate that is 1 but you are saying it is 2 so intermediate nodes may have wrong values so the most naive version won't let you action shell extend now what does this mean we have already talked about this a good child ordering improves effectiveness of pruning so let us put an ordering on this let us put an ordering on this such that i cannot prune do it for the exact same example 4 6 hai yahan pe or if you think these numbers are not sufficient change numbers Yes. Feel free to change any number, feel free to exchange any number with any other number. I just want you to give me a ordering where we can't prune. Even if you have to be a to be you have it? What is it? So three twelve eight. Do I need to change this or this is fine? This is fine, whatever it is. What what should I do here? Six four. 6, 4, 2, but is 4, 6, 2 also fine? Yes. That is also equally fine. Okay. What about here? 14, 14 5, and 2. Shall I change it to 1 or 2 is also fine? <coughs> 2 is fine, right? Chalo. So, with perfect ordering, time complexity drops to order B m by 2. Why? This doubles the solvable depth. Doubles the solvable depth for what? For the same compute resources, you can double the depth because earlier it was b to the m, now it is b to the m by 2. So, for the same time complexity, right, you can search all the way until 2m, right. So, this doubles the solvable depth, but still things for 
things like chess is still hopeless. Right. How m by 2? Kuch questions may leave it for the why m by 2? Effectively, what are you saying? Think over it. I won't answer this right now. So, kuch to medley bhi chhod do, yar. Ah. What about this? So, I won't do these examples now. You you know how to do it. Can I prune anything here? So, what comes here? 8. What comes here? So, if I if I do minimax, if I do minimax, if I do alpha beta, 10, 8 do I still have to do? Can I prune anything here? No. So, 8 comes here. Now, what do I see? I see 4 here, so I can prune this one. Okay. This one is a homework. Do it on your own. Okay. Yeah, maybe do second me karlo abhi. I won't discuss this one. If you want to say something, fine. So how do I propagate here? So, if I do minimax 10, 10 because this is max, right? Then 100, 2, 20. Now, 10 comes here and 2 comes here and then 10 goes here, right? So, this is minimax. Now, pruning. Right? Do it as a homework. Do it as a homework. So, let us start with this. The problem is in realistic games cannot search to leaves. What does this line mean? What is the problem stated here? Right. So, realistic games like chess, they are too deep. But what is the problem? What does this line mean? See, what are the problem with what whatever we are doing? Minimax. Problem kya uske saath? Values are available only for the terminal states. And terminal states might be too deep. Right? So, if terminal states are too deep, by aapko dekho, let us go back to this example. Let us say this is a 100 layer deep tree. How will you get numbers here? Start from the leaves and keep propagating up, up, up. Okay? It does not matter even if you are able to prune it. You still have a exponential tree in front of you. So, that is the problem this statement is referring to. So, if these were the terminal states, right, what could I do? 
I am mean here minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 4 9 4 and then 4 comes here. So, solution to this problem depth limited search instead search only to a limited depth in the tree replace terminal utilities with an evaluation function for non terminal positions and this is an important thing that we will do. First one we do not really like because the tree was really deep and you are just saying that search only to a limited depth in the tree. Example, suppose we have now, suppose we have 100 seconds, we can explore 10 k nodes per second. So, we can check 1 million nodes per move. Alpha beta reaches about depth 8 decent chess program. What is this? Chess me kai bar time bound hota hai, right? So, you get only this much time. If you get only this much time and you can check only 1 million nodes per move. So, says ki you can look for about depth 8 which is a decent chess program. But if given infinite time, explore as much as you can, right? Look for the best move. But if you are given only 100 seconds, only 100 seconds to make your move, in that case do your best, which is you can look at the depth 8 in this case. So, that is where this thing is coming out to be handy. You can search only to a limited depth in the tree because you have limited time. Questions here, I see more blank faces than 10 minutes ago. No, this is a nice example to talk about limited depth. It says you have only 100 seconds to move. So, you cannot really go deep down and try to look for the best move. The moment you do not make your move in 100 seconds, you will lose the game already. So, what this argument says? So, in 100 seconds, you have 100 seconds to move. Assume you can explore 10,000 nodes in a second. That means, in total 100 seconds, you can look for 1 million nodes, right. So, per move you can look at 1 million nodes. Alpha beta, now this is a information that is coming from their own practice. Alpha beta reaches about depth, depth 8. So, you can just look at depth 8. So, go to depth 8, assign terminal utilities there or, or basically search only to a limited depth in that tree. Right. So, like isme yaha pe you assigned something. So, there will be a replace terminal utilities with an evaluation function. We need to come up with evaluation function. This is a hard part. Okay. So, guarantee of optimal play is gone, more plies make a big difference, use iterative deepening for an any time algorithm, iterative deepening we have seen before when we were doing BFS. Ab isme jo By ye wala example kar lena hai na. There aren't even any ghosts. So, you think this should be easy. I am going to do something like a depth 2 search and no ghosts are going to get in my way and I am going to win really easily. So, let us think about what Pac-Man does here in the case where you do a depth 2 search and we need a truncation function. So, what is the truncation function? So, let us just use the score, right? That is a pretty good indicator if the score is high. That's good. If the score is bad, that's less good. And so we're going to try to kind of maximize our score, not purely greedily, but based on a two-step look ahead. So here we go. Here's the first step we take. So far, so good. And then, mm, okay. 
Okay, and uh, you're starting to doubt <laughs> the agent here. Somehow, even though we've got a basically plausible evaluation function, the score, and we're doing a little bit of look ahead, it's just wigging out. What's going on here? Okay, so what is going on here? But how do I increase this sound? Anyway, what happened in this case? So we go back to what we were doing. So why Pac-Man starves? You have everything in front of you and I won't explain this either. So you've got three, four homeworks from this class. So why Pac-Man starves? Here, goes here. So here you have two choices and so on. So a danger of replanning agents. He knows his score will go up by eating the dot now. He knows his score will go just as much by eating the dot later. There are no point scoring opportunities after eating the dot. Therefore, waiting seems just as good as eating. He may go east, then back west in the next round of replanning. What is going on here compared to what goes next? So, how you fix it? So, let us talk about this fixing. I need you to concentrate on two things. First, why it starves and what is fixed and how is fixed. Same configuration, still looking ahead too, but now the truncation function is score, but you get increasing credit for being closer to a dot. So now we take the same first step, but now we go straight to the end and don't thrash. Many of you will see thrashing in your project. When you see thrashing, it is usually not a bug in Minimax. You will have to go and listen to these, right? Go home and listen to these. I am not taking these three things in detail here. The question that I am asking you guys is, so there are three, four homeworks I have left in this class. One is, Liklo. one is order B to the M by 2. order b to the m by 2 right after alpha beta pruning another one was that tree that I had given for homework ki alpha beta pruning karo. third thing is why Pac-Man starves in this case ok you have everything here but nahi samaj mein aata is se. you have to discuss more right here it says ki haan, waiting is as good as eating but so, these three things, evaluation functions now, evaluation functions, evaluation functions score non-terminals in depth limited search. So, see, what did we know about chess? B is roughly 35 and M was roughly 100. So, even if you with the help of alpha beta pruning, you will be able to reach 35 to the 50, right? Sorry, 200. So, if the, if the normal value for chess is M equal to 100 for minimax, then for alpha beta pruning it can go as as much as 200 
right for the same computational resources. Now evaluation functions that means things for m equal to 100 become only b to the m by 2 complex. Hmm? So evaluation functions score non-terminal in depth limited search. Ideal function returns the exact the actual minimax value of the position. Ye important cheese hai bhai. 10 minutes se class mein nahi the, that's probably okay. Come back now. You have a tree. Okay. And we had this problem of what? Only terminal values have utilities. utilities. Only terminal states have utilities. You have to propagate them up. If you have trees of this size that is a gone case, you won't be able to do it. So now we need evaluation functions. What should evaluation functions do? I ask you for a state. I ask you given a state, what should be the value there? Okay. And how will this evaluation function do? So what will an ideal evaluation function? What will be an ideal evaluation function that gives me which value? The minimax value, right? Because minimax is something that will go all the way until terminals propagate the utilities up. So a ideal function returns the actual minimax value. This should be clear. Make sure it, it is right. In practice, but but can you have an ideal evaluation function? No, because because this is still exponential tree. This means you have some function that is going to look at this exponential tree in let's say polynomial time. Won't happen. In practice, typically weighted linear sum of features. So this is gone case. You won't have it. So in practice, you typically weighted linear sum of features. You should be able to help me with this. What is it? There you go. W1 times something as a function of state. W2 times something as a function of state and so on. So for example, F, so a evolution function now for chess. You have an example here. Will that be perfect? Of course not. But does it capture the essence? Maybe yes. Not in all cases, but maybe yes in some cases. So what is your evolution function? Right. So we'll stop here today. Ah. Nee. Class pool jao. Class pool jao. Tell me how good in how good position you are in chess. Kaise compute karoge? Of course, don't look at the 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 position of the uh, board. Right. Just by looking at pieces. So, for the time being, positions say independent. Kar do ek bar. So, let us say I have uh, huh, that is what we are talking about. What is that? Right. But then can you refine it more? So let us say I have more pieces but you have maybe two queens. Right. So can you make a function which will give you a reasonable weight right for not for a position but only for the pieces owned by a player. Right. You can have whatever pieces with you if the position is of checkmate for the opponent, then you are done, right? So, whatever we are doing here, it does not take into account the chess positions. 
you are only talking about the number of pieces you have now let me remove that condition that we are not talking about chess positions if you want to incorporate chess positions now will it become much more difficult now right because you depend on the snapshot so your input will not be just the number of pieces left the types of pieces left it will also be that complete chess board state things become much more complicated probably we won't go there so for example you have a evaluation function for a state s weight w1 times function s1 now sorry function f1 f1 you can define as number of white queens minus number of black queens so what can be f2 for example number of let's say white rooks minus number of black rooks and so on but do you have to stop it here can you do something more you might try to assign weights to pieces right you might try to assign weights to pieces of course it depends on the situation but so finally come up with an evaluation function that mimics the game well this is what a evaluation function would be attendance ke bare mein hai kahin pe sheet hai kya kahin pe okay thank you so much so ek bar ye dekh lo ye ye demos acche hain and then we go no discussion only looking at the demos छोड़ो डन फॉर टूडे अटेंडेंस कितने हैं चलो गो Thank you. 